Okay, so I guess we're live. Um, having to use my phone today. I don't even know where to look on my uh, phone here, but uh, let me see if I can't pull some people up. First time doing this, so it's going to be a little weird for me. All right, let's see. Live. Currently not available. All right, not sure how to do this. Some got a like from somebody. Let me see how I can pull up. So I'm going to do a head shave today. Oh, hello from Athens. Smoking blades. Okay, so I am going to be able to read it off my phone. Hey. Okay, so I guess I'm going to start shaving. I'm going to fill up my sink and um you know, start this head shave. And I'm, my first time going live, so bear with me a little bit, but I am going to be using the stainless steel T2 by Rockwell. Uh, is there sound, guys? Because this is my first time. I'm using an external mic. Just give me a thumbs up, or actually, you're going to have to type it in so I can see that we're going, that, that we have sound. Look up here. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Not sure. No sound. Okay. So, let me... Oh, yes, there is sound. Hi from Germany. Hey, what's up? Okay, that's not it. Put that back down. The sound is okay. All right, awesome. So I'm not even going to touch anything. We're just going to keep rolling here. All right, so I'm going to use, in my last shave, have you guys tried this Rockwell shaving cream? This stuff is pretty damn good. So I'm going to try that again, but I'm going to put some water on my head here. And I've got, if you can see, I've got... <laughs> Like nine days of growth, like my wife was getting pissed off at me. She's like, uh, you need to do a head shave. So, um, yeah, let me, uh, I got to take this off. And we're going to see if this Rockwell T2 stainless steel can take it off. I'm probably going to have to put it on a level six. So I'm going to do that. But um, I'm going to use my uh, Simpson synthetic T3 knot, my favorite knot. Just going to dunk it down in there in some water. And, uh, you know, go in here and grab some of this cream. Love this stuff. I think you only get four ounces. That's the only drawback of this. Uh, but Rockwell did give me a link um, to their website. So if you guys use that link, you're going to save an additional... Let me look at the camera. You're going to save an additional 5%. Um, and I'll post it below this video, but it's below uh, almost every one of my other Rockwell videos. So I'm just going to start this lather up in a bowl. And this is my favorite bowl. It's got, you know, perforated on the bottom. This thing just... Do you like boar brushes? Do I like boar brushes? Hmm, you know, I'm more... I've got really sensitive skin. So what I found was when I switched to a synthetic brush, um, you know, it was irritating my face. I thought it was razors doing it and blades, and it wasn't. It was the bore brush. So when I switched to a synthetic brush, I didn't have that problem anymore. So I made the switch, and uh, it's been working out good for me. Wow, there's a lot of hair up there. This is going to take... It's going to take a minute. I guess I can read some comments. Don't know how to keep everything up, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. All right. I'm more concerned if this razor can, you know, knock down all this growth. I need to learn how to keep those up. Let's see. Oh. I don't know 
welcome to chat live okay I need to learn how to keep your messages up save highlights highlights are saved okay I don't know all right I'm just gonna keep going I'll just have to read well you know what maybe I can jump on here on my personal account so I can jump into this live shave here. Let's see here. All right, we're there. Let's go to, let's see. No, that's not it. It's not what I wanted. Shift. All right. I want to be able to see what you guys are writing, so. channel and sorry for the delay this is totally new for me hmm go live I already am live all right let me switch over to my personal one. Oh, there we go I can see it all right let's go in live nine people watching sweet okay all right, now I can see what you guys are typing. I'm going to turn this sound on. All right, cool. All right. All right, so you guys can hear me. That's great. All right. Okay. Uh, get some more water on this. All right, so I'm going to use um, a lot of people have suggested to try a Astro Blade on the six plate, so that's the first plate I'm going to try. We're going to see if it can, you know, and I like the I like the uh, Superior Platinums, so you know I'm just going to throw one of those in real quick here and see if. Uh, you know, this blade can get through it with uh, with that mild blade. Aster blades used to be my go-to blade, and like I've said in a lot of my previous videos, I'm switching over to um, the Gillette Nasset. I don't know why it's becoming a favorite of mine. Got it on six. Wow, having to shoot off my phone kind of sucks. Sorry guys, I couldn't get my, you know, Sony camera to link up. I you gotta do a ton of crap that I don't know how to do yet. So and spent a few hours yesterday trying to figure that out and yeah, just didn't want to spend that time. So the next one will have way better camera, but this again is just off my phone. And I can see that it's already looking shitty. Not scratchy. Okay. All right, well, let me go in here for the first pass. Hmm, this is going to struggle a little bit. I can already see that. Full. Look how full that is. A lot of hair here. You know, smart people would have taken their peanut clippers and, you know, and shaved this down a lot or mowed it down and then used a safety razor, but, you know, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> All right. Yeah, a lot of growth. Already clogged again. Mm, clogged again. The nice thing is, it does rinse out good. Even with all that hair, I mean, look at that. The thing's rinsing out great. So, let's see here. Go to the other side. Yep. Wow. 
So it's going through it. It's just I'm having to rinse it a hell of a lot, which I get it. Probably nine days of growth up there. My last head shave is when I, you know, did the shaving fail and I hit that zit behind me. Whoo! Yeah, that was a bleeder. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to load an Astra in the Gunmetal T2, the original, because people were asking, um, you know, is it, is the stainless steel sharper? Did they do anything? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's take another Astra blade. Let's see here what it does. Okay, just loading it like the butterfly. That's real easy. Lock it down. Level six. Let's see what it does over here. Oh, still got some. It has a different sound. Yeah, it's still getting clogged. That's that's just so much up there. Let's go up top with it here. Better add some more. So eleven people watching. That's pretty cool. Hey, don't forget to smash that like button. Come on, America. All right. Okay, now we'll do the other side with the stainless, Let's see if I can tell a difference. Sound is totally different, this being stainless steel. Okay. God, let me get this all this hair out of my sink. Terrible. Okay, fill that back up. I'm gonna go in and add some more to the back of my head here. Love your videos, brother. Hey, thanks. Appreciate that. Okay. You like the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. All right. I'm going to apply more cream back here. Get it going. This is like the only place on my head that I have here. You know, it's, it's BBS up top. or baby butt smooth all the time. Even with a little bit of growth. Or I should say, with 10 days of growth. So I'm going to take the stainless steel on this side of my head and the T2 on the other side and let's see where we're at here. Lots and lots of hair. Hmm, interesting. All right. Now for the original T2, and they're having a huge sale on these right now. If you were ever thinking about getting one of these, now's the time. All right, so the other side. Okay. Seems to be, I don't know, it seems to be 
the same. I can't tell how much it's taking off. Sounds louder. Hmm. Okay. See it missed a little bit right there. Okay. I'm going to be doing another pass, so I'm not really worried about that. But I can say the Audible is better on the uh, original T2. I, you know, it is. It just is. Let me finish up with this one. Okay. Oh yeah, I missed a ton there. I can see, I can feel that right there. Still missing it. Wow, okay. I can't get it. Let me grab the T2. Now, you know what it is? I'm just not getting the angle. So, I'm sure that's still on six. Yeah, it's still on six. Still there. Well, yep, it's still there. You know what? I'll get it on the second pass here. Give that a rinse. Wow, there's a ton of hair in that. In my sink. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Might have to snake that when I'm done here. <laughs> All right. Wow. Alright, let's fill that back up. Get this off the head. Start lathering back up. Why that's filling up. And read some comments. Is Ohio cold? Oh yeah, dude. It's uh 12 degrees outside today and I did have I don't know if you guys wear those you know those little things you put over your head and I don't know they come up to here and you can put them over your face I've been wearing a shit out of one of them um, actually a company from Amazon sent me a couple of them I've been using them probably gonna shoot a little video on that and they're cheap too they're like 12 bucks and Man, if you're not using one of them, uh, I would highly recommend one. It's uh, keeping me nice and, uh, let's say, warmer. We just finished up a indoor pool, and, you know, we had to build a platform and over the pool so we could, you know, put epoxy all over the ceilings. And, God, breaking down that platform. That was yesterday. Man, we were... Yeah, we were freezing. But I can say having that, I don't even know what they're called. Having those was pretty cool. Because I know my guys liked it because it was keeping them, you know, a little bit more warmer. But, you know, once you start doing physical activity outside when it's cold, you generally stay pretty warm. All right. Um, I'm not going to go full, full on. I'm just going to keep adding. And let's see, let me go, let me go this way now. Okay. Okay. 
Now I have been struggling around my ears with this T2 because of that blade gap. Can't tell if I got it. I don't think I did. Yeah, that eighth inch blade gap, I've been struggling with it. Like you take a Rockwell 6C, you know, if I just bend my ear over like that, now I gotta be careful of the tab sticking out, but it'll just, you know, I, one pass, it's gone. Yeah, there's still a few hairs there. All right, we'll come back to that. Um, let's go on the other side with the Gunmetal T2, which, like I said, they're having a huge sale. Actually, they're having a huge sale on all their razors. I did see that they're offering 10% off that stainless steel. So it's not 250, it's 225. That's pretty good. All right, let me go across the green. Ooh, got something there. Ooh. That is it. Damn. All right, we're live. That hurt. Not bleeding. Hmm. At least I hope it's not bleeding. Oh, yeah, there's blood. Whew. All right, let's get through this. Let me, uh, oh yeah, there's a lot of blood, damn it. Yeah, it bit me. Okay. Well, let me clean it up here. Okay, that was with the T2 gunmetal one. Oh yeah, I can feel that. That hurts. Oof hurting up here. What is that? All right, let me uh, let me put some more on there because I got to finish this shave for sure. I can't look like an idiot. There's a delay and uh, yeah, I can't see it yet. So let me go across the green again one more time. Okay. Out of these two, well, here, I'll, let me, uh, let's clean this up, make sure I'm not going to die here. Oh, I can see it now. Right there it is. Wow. I'm going to say that's my second fail with this razor. I'm going to say this one's probably more aggressive. No, I don't know. I can say that's my offhand so that could be, you know, part of the problem. I don't know if I had a zit there, though. Yeah, let me get the almond block on that. I don't know if I had a zit there. I don't think so. I'll have to... Oh, God, yeah, that stings. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's a, it was a slice. I see it. Well, yeah, so for head shapes for me, I think that's my last... I think that's going to be my last head shave with the Rockwell T2. I'm not going to keep opening up the back of my head because I don't, you know, 
that's not good. Keep applying some of this on here. So for the face, I do like it. For the head, no. Um, I would go with the six R's because I've never cut my head with the Rockwell 6C. Never. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's, I just never, I have never cut my head with it. All right, so RK says get a septic pen. Yeah. How bad is that slice, guys? Is it real bad? I think I got it. All right. But here's what I'm talking about. See all that hair left? Well, I'm going to have to move to get it because I can't freaking see it. No, that wasn't, that was easy. Okay. I actually think the T2, the original, is a little more aggressive than the stainless steel. Uh, I think it is. It could be the wrong blade, but how would I cut myself twice? You know what I mean? With the same razor. Yeah, I think that's my last head shave with it. All right, so let me rinse this off. Got it. All right, so what I'm going to, I'm going to take, you know, some questions here at the end, but let me finish this up to make sure I got to meet, like I said, I got to meet customers. And I, I just don't, I guess I could wear a hat, but I, you know, I want to look clean. So for me to clean up even more, I'm going to have to get that. Okay. You know what I might do? Let's do a comparison. No, I don't have time for that. What time is it? Yeah, I don't have time for that. I got to roll. Okay. So going in with uh, Thayer's. I don't know if you guys have tried this. Um, a lot of people suggested it. I've, I've been using it. I like it a lot. that on. I'm going to rinse out my bowl real quick and my brush and I'm going to put on some more products. Maybe the 6C is shorter, less easier to remove maneuver. Mm, I don't, yeah, I mean that that's possible. That's very possible. Um, not sure. I generally don't cut my head when I'm shaving. Hell, I barely even cut my face when I'm shaving. All right, so that's good. That to dry a little bit. Let me read a couple more comments here. Brad, good morning, David. Just jumping in here. Good to see you, Brad, or good to hear from you. Thayer's Rose is great stuff. Used it a lot. Dickerson. Okay. Good stuff all around. Yeah, I, I, I've been digging it too. I actually like it. I could actually move this right here. So like, will that work? Yeah, that'll work. That'll definitely work. Okay, so Thayer's is on. Um, I think I got it to stop bleeding. So maybe it wasn't a slice. I don't, yeah I, th yeah, I think I do feel a slice right there. Wherever, whatever happens right here. So, yeah, we'll see. 
All right, so one other product that they sent me that I'm really liking is this uh, aftershave balm. This stuff, like, I love Nivea, which you guys all know that. Like, Nivea in my, in the grocery stores around here or drug stores, it's like 10 bucks a bottle. But on Amazon, I get three bottles for 12 bucks. You cannot freaking beat that price on this on Amazon. Don't buy it in your stores, though. I mean, you, when you can get three bottles for the price of one. But anyhow, this this uh, shaving balm here, holy moly's. Uh, I like it a lot. It's becoming one of my favorites because it, it's just going to soften up. And I'm just going to use one squirt because I'm just going to put it on my head. This stuff in like 10 minutes makes your skin so soft. Okay, all right, so that was pretty good. All right, so let me take these out of here. Which one of these is better? For head shaving, yeah, I'm gonna have to move that. Ugh. Let's see here, using an iPad. Let me move this back over here so I can clean stuff. Uh, for head shaving, I'm not going to recommend the, uh, the original T2. I think it's a little bit too aggressive for me. Now, everyone's going to say, well, you could have bumped it down. Well, you know, that was 10 days of growth. You could see how much I was going to the sink with it. So, you know. Say what you want. Uh, I just did. I don't see it. Uh, the stainless steel. It's much milder. I, I wouldn't say much milder. It's more smooth. I don't know if they put a coating on this. Um, I have shot them an email, and I haven't read anything. You know, did they put a different coating on this than the uh, 6S? You know what I mean? Because that one. Uh, isn't as slick as the 6C. So I always rinse my stuff off and clean it up. And I'm, you know, I was going to talk about these a little bit. So put that one there. All right. So that's 10 p.m. here, February 3rd, your a.m. time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually 11.30, 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, thanks for popping in, guys. I appreciate that. All right, so the original T2 compared to the, well, let me go up here, compared to the SS, I think the SS is a smoother shaver. Um, that's the second fail I've had with the T2 gunmetal finish. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a head shave with this one again. Um, just don't think that's going to happen. I, I'm not, you know, happy about cutting myself two times in a row. Um, probably not even going to do another head shave with this one, or at least I'm going to wait a while. Um, I do have, uh, a great video coming out this weekend on Saturday. I've got the, oops, not that one. I've got the Henson versus the Leaf Thorn, both medium aggression razors. That was pretty cool. It was uh, seven days of growth on my face. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool video um, comparing those two. And this is the rock, or I'm sorry, this is the leaf thorn that I'm giving away. Um, so you can still go into that giveaway. I, I need to do a couple more videos with it before I send it off, you know, to a lucky subscriber. So don't forget to enter in that video it's i don't know four or five videos ago but you can still enter that but i am going to give it away but there's a few other razors i want to or a few other things i want to do with that razor in some videos and you know then we'll do a giveaway and that giveaway is probably going to be in a short you know i don't want to make a video on giving a razor away so what are your comments what do we got here brad 
head shave recommendations. Leaf, then the Rockwell C. Hmm. Um, I like I like the leaf razors on my head. I've done you know quite a few comparisons with those. And my recommendation, hey, if you're just getting started, I would go with a you know a thorn. My my twig is black. Or a twig. I've shaved with them both. The only thing with these razor is, these razors are, they're single-edged razors. You know what I mean? So you're breaking a, a blade in half, and you're constantly going down to the sink, and it barely makes it through a head shave with me, because I can't flip the razor and get the other side, especially with that much growth. These blades right here that I just shaved with, uh, they're getting thrown away. That was a lot of growth, okay? It's too much growth. So, and I've been asked that question a lot too. How many times do you, you know, use your double-edged razor blades? I use them once, and then I, I just pitch them. I have so many blades, well, just in here, plus back there, you know, that you guys have sent me, manufacturers have sent, and I got to get through them. Like, I honestly could probably just do shaves with different blades for this whole year. But I, I don't want to do that. I want to try, you know, other razors as well. So my recommendations, yeah, I would say for head shaving, that's the only drawback with the Thorn. With the Rockwell 6C, having those adjustments, you know what I mean, to go up to a six plate on my head, I've never cut myself. At least I can't remember cutting myself. And I think they're going for 50 or $55 right now on their website. That's like cheap considering like the Mercur 34C sells for 50 on Amazon. That's bananas, dude. Five more, five more dollars you can get this. And in my mind, it's a smoother shave anyways. And you got six razors in one. So when you're just starting out, um, yeah, you're going to start like on a, you know, a lower plate, like a... You know, a lower, I think the McCurr 34C to me is like a two plate in this, but you know, whatever. So rambling on here, which one do I prefer on my head? I prefer the Rockwell 6C. This thing over these leaf thorns are, it's still, it can still do the job, but when you have growth, this thing will remove it on a six plate. So that's just my pick. Now there are drawbacks too, you know, the tabs. You can slice your ear open. I have done that before. I think I did it on my first couple of shaves. You know, going around here, if you don't pull your ear down enough, you're going to clip it. And, you know, that tab is still sharp. You know, not like the leading edge, but it's still sharp. So my recommendation would be the Rockwell 6C. Um, the, thorn, the leaf shaves razors, um, I like them on, uh, you know, my face. My wife loves the twig. Uh on her legs, uh, she hasn't used a disposable razor in months. She just goes right to this thing, and I literally have to go down to her, you know, uh, bathroom and grab it whenever I want to showcase it. So I've got a million razors sitting out here, a million of them down there. But uh, all right, what else do we got? I always wondered if I should get a leaf, but the Razor Rock Eco always held me back a a hawk green color third color is en route to me as we speak okay cool hey brian what's up man um yeah i have not i have uh razor rock soaps i don't have any of their razors yet um maybe you know they'll contact me and send me some razors to review i mean Leaf Shades have done that. Henson Razors has, has done that. Obviously, Rockwell Razors has done that. Uh, who else has done it? The One Blade has sent theirs. And let me check down there. Oh, and McCurr sent me... Um, well, I don't think they sent me. Some U.S.-based companies sent me the Victor and the 34C Slant. So these companies are approaching me, which is cool because... I could not afford all these razors, nor would I buy all those different razors just to do shaver use with and give them away, you know, whatever. I mean, I guess I could and, you know, 
probably going to have to do that someday. But I, what I notice is everybody that watches my channel, they always want me to review, you know, a razor that I've reviewed in the past, like that R41 I've given away, uh, the three bladed leaf I gave away, um, giving away the leaf thorn. So, you know, those are three razors that I don't have any, any longer. So not really discouraged about that. You know, I like giving stuff away to people, especially if you're watching the channel. All right, what else we got? Razor Rock had some most unappreciated stainless steel razors and shaving. I, you know, I, I've seen, I've seen videos with the game changer and, um, I haven't, maybe I might purchase one. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Razor Rock sending review razors. Nope. Oh, they don't let people read. Well, you know what? That's, you know, that's on them. Um, maybe they should, but if they're not trying to push anything, you know, who cares? All right, so how long? 41 minutes. Man, I can't believe I've been talking this long. All right, well, I'm going to shut this down because I had to go pick up some checks. Um, I hope the video was okay. I had to shoot it off my phone, and God, I haven't shut off my phone in whew, over a year. I usually shoot off a actual camera, Sony ZV-E10 with the Sigma... 16 mil, 1.4 lens, great lens. So, you know, this actually looks like crap to me. But I did, you know, I did mic it up. So hopefully the sound is good. I'm planning on starting live shaves like on Sundays. I don't know. Tell me, comment down below. Tell me what you think. I'll get better at this. Uh, I need to learn how to use my actual camera instead of my phone and how to run this chat. Maybe my wife could sit over there and, you know, type everything up for me. So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. I do have the a video coming out Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's the Henson Plus Plus version versus the Leaf Twig. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great weekend.